Good morning, Faith Box. Um, I picked day 21, and I picked this day because it's one of my favorite stories from the Bible. I know that I have played each part in the story of the prodigal son. Um, I've definitely been the prodigal that turned away from God and thought I could do it better my own way. I have been the self-righteous older brother who said, well, what about me? And then now um, I have the honor of playing the father who patiently and lovingly waits for their prodigal to come to their senses. Um, I excitedly stand and wait for my husband to come to the family of God, and I cannot imagine um, the party that they're going to have in heaven the day that happens. So today's verse is from Luke 15, 32. We had to celebrate this happy day, for your brother was dead and has come to life. He was lost, but now he is found. The story of the prodigal son is a story of radical transformation, a story in which a father celebrates the return and the change of his son who had once walked away. In the father's eyes, this was a momental monumental moment worthy of celebration. When you or the people in your life go through the same, it too is a monumental moment worthy of celebration. One of the best things you can do for the people in your life is celebrate whenever they take steps of faith that lead them back or closer to God. In a culture that's too quick to condemn and tear down, you can be a voice of praise and celebration in the life of another. Jesus would go on to say in this same passage that the heavens rejoice when even just one sinner turns in repentance to God. You have been invited to be both a participant and an extension of that celebration here on earth. Um, I know that will happen in my family the day my husband comes to God, um, just like it has when my oldest daughter and my middle daughter did. So I excitedly wait that day and hope that you are doing the same thing for the people in your life. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.